everyone! Welcome to the very last day of Hollow Week. Um, today is going to be a pretty easy one. I try to make the last ones easy since tomorrow is Halloween. This one was inspired way back by the Met Gala. I think the theme was like religious figures or something like that, or like religious imagery. And one of the ladies showed up with a really cool like ray halo headband kind of thing and she made it with zip ties and I was like that's so freaking clever and easy and I wanted to show you guys how to make one for yourself. So let's get started. You'll need a headband. I got this weird headband that's all bendy so that you can fit it to your head perfectly. It's actually pretty nice. Zip ties. For a regular size headband, you'll need around 30-ish. Scissors and paint. I'm using liquid gold. So I pre-cut these before attaching them to the headband, but in hindsight, you could probably attach all of the zip ties first and then cut, so really you could do it either way. If you want to cut them before attaching, like me, cut roughly half of them to about 7 inches long and the rest to about 6 inches long. Then round each end. To skip the cutting, you can probably just buy zip ties that are already the size that you want. And then they'll already be nice and rounded and just pretty much ready to go straight out of the pack. So now start zip tying the ties onto the headband, alternating between long and short pieces. I recommend periodically putting it on so you can see how far you want them to go down. I was going for like a half circle kind of look, so I had to almost cover the whole thing. If you were waiting to cut the zip ties until after they were all in place, now is the time to do so. Cut them so that they're alternating between long and short, and then once that's all done, then paint the zip ties. I made sure to keep the paint on the end of the zip tie that's sticking up. I don't want to bother painting the little loopy part because I figured it was probably going to transfer onto my hair or my wig or whatever I chose to wear with this. You can further decorate this thing with flowers at the base or gems glued around the rays, but I chose to keep it nice and simple. And there it is. This is a super easy accessory to make and further customize to work with a bunch of different costumes or just to wear as accessories. You can keep it simple or adorn it with flowers and or jewels to be like a saint or you can be an angel and well, I guess essentially anything kind of religious, I guess. I don't know. What other costumes would you guys wear with this? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, the very last Halloween video. If you enjoyed the series this year, then please let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that good stuff. If you have any questions or suggestions for future Halloween videos, then please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much to my patrons for helping me produce this series this year and all of my videos. If you are interested in becoming a patron or learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine up here and you can go check it out. You can follow me on all of my social media, which I will link down below. As I mentioned in the first video, since I just did five back-to-back -back videos, I mean, skipping the weekend, of course, um, but since I did these five videos, I'm going to be skipping my normal Thursday video for the week. As you guys are watching this, I am not even in town. I am on a little vacation visiting my sister. So yeah, just to make it easier, I will resume my videos once I get home, which will be next week. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching this year. I hope you guys have a safe and very happy Halloween, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!